Welcome to my playhouse and today we are gonna well we're probably not gonna do that much but I'm gonna be talking a whole lot <laughs> um, I've been doing server videos for quite a while so today I thought we should do something else uh, and I have something uh, not exactly server related but still um, kind of server related because I got something over here behind the house there is a big package we're gonna have a look at that and we're gonna unbox that because um, yeah I might as well reveal what it is it's a heat pump and it's meant to heat the house so let's go check it out it's right there it has been it has been raining here I already have a heat pump it's right there it's a bigger model this I think this is about nine kilowatts of, uh, of heat coming out of that but this one is 400 volts so to power this you need 400 volts and that's a lot of power and there's no problem I have 400 volts in the house obviously otherwise I wouldn't be able to run it okay but it means that this is very difficult to run off solar energy and I want to run some more stuff of solar I also right here I have some long pieces of metal that goes up and up that's because up on this roof up here I want to put solar up there I bought all the materials for that I haven't bought the panels but I bought all the materials to for the mounting of that and yeah that might just be next year but I got a new heat pump that will run 220 volts and that is way better for solar and I got a smaller one so that it won't take up as much power which makes it a lot easier to handle for solar and batteries so this one will take up approximately 1.5 kilowatts of power when it is running and it will give out about 6 kilowatts of heat so 1.5 kilowatts of power will give me 6 kilowatts worth of heat in optimal conditions so there is like water temperatures and outside temperatures and all good stuff like that so I have brought a hammer so we can we can start taking this apart it looks like they have been using some good wood there that's kind of a thick one so I thought we should just oh there's some screws down there I might be able to unscrew that and take the whole top off I think we should try that instead does that look like a 10 millimeter to you it does to me let's check that Nah, uh, I thought that maybe if I remove those two screws on this side and the other side that I would be able to lift the whole thing up. I don't think that's, uh, that's how it works. To get this from the UK, United Kingdom, uh, we don't have this model here in Denmark. And, uh, I kind of wanted this because it was a smaller model than the ones that I usually sold here. Plus, it was a lot cheaper over there. Uh, this was 1400 pounds, and then there was some shipping. I don't have those numbers yet, but uh, yeah. Usually, ships like computer hardware, so they um, they are good at shipping big stuff like big servers. So they helped me with that. Uh, some water in there doesn't matter this is an outside unit so it should handle water otherwise we have other problems okay let's uh, let's see that it's a uh, way smaller than that one I am I'm still negotiating with myself if I has, should put it here or if I should put it here I would have to get rid of a lot of flowers over there yeah the pipes from the basement comes over here so it would be very easy to put it here it, it would be blocking the window somewhat uh, I want both of them uh, it would be nice to have this one when it's really cold it's more meant to extend the period of time where I don't need to worry about heating the house I just turn this guy on and it will probably be able to prolong the, the period of time where I don't need to pay for heating the house uh, maybe a month in each end. 
I was hoping to reuse that wood for something. Guess that's not gonna be an option. Oh, it looks so nice and shiny. So this is a air to water heat pump meaning that it takes the outside air and it sucks the heat out of it and it heats some water and the water hoses are over here <sighs> down there here are the water inlets so this is heat pump flow so and heat pump return so you put the cold water in here i guess and it heats it up and you get your warm water out of there and these are one inch it's not as if it heats it a whole lot it, it heats a lot of water a little bit each time but it's meant for high flow so you you flow a lot of water through there and you heat it a little bit uh, so very easy to set up water in water out and some power i don't know why there is two holes here there is a opening over here that we should be able to oh they have put screws in there why huh. over here we have a meter some sort there oh here's all the specs awesome you can get those so heating heating capacity if it's 20 degrees outside it can heat 6.83 kilowatts that's really stupid if it's 20 degrees outside i don't need heating so that's just stupid but there is 35 degrees hot water at 7 degrees outside which is um, well it's a little bit hotter than 7 degrees right now it is rated for 5.85 kilowatt hours and then if you want to heat your water to 50 and then if you want to heat your water to 45 degrees well the efficiency goes down you can see from from 6.83 to 6.2 uh, just because the water needs to be warmer and also at 7 degrees it's uh, down to 5.5.32 kilowatt of heating it is also able to cool the water so it's a heating slash cooling unit so you can actually in the summer you could cool your data center with it if you really wanted to do that so that could be fun to play with at some point um it's not very efficient at it it can do seven degrees water at 25 degrees ambient temperature and it will give you a cooling cooling capability of about 4.35 kilowatts rated power i said that that is 1.5 kilowatts equal to 6.88 amps of uh, 200 and 220 to 240 volts mm, if you're running 240 volts you will have less amps if you're running 220 volts you will probably have a little more amps um, so rest of this it weighs 58 kilos it's not bad i got it from here uh, cool energy holding in the uk gris grisby grissom grisby in the uk uh, they're not sponsoring this I paid for it but they were nice enough it has a Mitsubishi compressor and it has a willow uh, water pump in there so yeah other good stuff okay I went in and got a screwdriver I'm curious to see the inside so uh, yeah let's just open and see we need to connect some power to it uh, not today but I am curious I have seen pictures online of it inside, but yeah, what have they? There might be a manual or something in here that really shouldn't be in here. So maybe there is something for us to take out. Uh, hmm. What is that box? 
here is the inside and yes there were something that is probably some nice fittings the one inch fittings for the outside we have some wires some some probes this is probably the temperature sensor for the for the water and there is another wire here there should be a display somewhere as well um, doesn't see it here is that anywhere else mounted mm -hmm. I moved the box out of the way so I don't know maybe it's inside there's an electric box here let's open that up as well there, there they have hidden all the goodies and there is a nice wire diagram as well I think this is mandatory they have to put that in there maybe if I could take a good picture of this I don't have well might be able so they have taped it in here oh let's get that out of oh there's some more stuff okay we have the manual we have the the inside display that unit also have an inside display that I have on the wall in there here is the manual I was I downloaded this the other day yesterday I guess it was or the day before that and was just about to print it but I have bought some cheap toner from my printer and all the colors are totally messed up so I, I was well I don't really want to print that much paper on on a well bad toner so there are some more pieces here some oh, is that water level pieces and here is this is a sh shunt shunt for the temperature sensor and there is the electrics so somewhere we will have to power this thing it's probably that we need to apply power here on this big thingy that would be my first guess oh, over here that might also be it hmm yeah I would have to look at the, the diagram I don't think this is more complex that I might be able to do this myself looking at the manual I uh, I did mount the other one myself uh, and that was 400 volts so that was a bit more complicated this is only 200 volts so it shouldn't be that bad let's see one of these are the compressor and the other one is probably just a heat exchanger that one is the pump I know that one we have a really good pump manufacturer here in Denmark and uh, yeah competing brand there so yeah very nicely insulated the pipes there so I have always wondered why the inside of the box isn't insulated. I would like to know that. Okay, I'll close this up again. There is a bit of work before I can connect this anywhere. Still have to figure out where to put it. I was just looking at this and realized if I put it right there underneath the window, I might have trouble opening up the window. That would just be stupid. So maybe down here, maybe here or something. Yeah, negotiating with myself on that one. So <clears throat> I probably have to move all of this stuff. Should probably throw some of them out. They're just tiles or well, walkway thinkies. I don't know why I keep them around. I don't even know where I got them from. They have been here for ages, so I probably just should throw some of them out. But yeah, I think it's the best placement over here somewhere. Maybe down here, pointing. It has to point away from the house because it, it blows air. Let's see, it sucks air in. What does it do? Oh, this blows out, so the air comes in this way, if it's like that one. I think it is so it's probably blowing that way which means that the pipes need to go ah uh, that way so it's more or less it has to sit like it does now and blow air away from the house it's probably the best solution 
and not much point in blowing the cold air into the house it's better to blow that away from the house so yeah mm. that's not gonna be today I'm just gonna be unboxing well I might start taking the tiles placing some of them over here I guess and preparing to throw some of them away I probably should do that So just put the plastic on again, um, it's nice to be working with a nice clean new unit so if uh, next time I'm going to be messing with this can take the plastic off and it's fairly clean it's nicer to work with. So the roof where I'm going to be mounting the solar panels is this roof up here. It's, uh, it's not in a southly, uh, it's not pointing south, it's more like pointing east but it does get a lot of sunlight so even though it's not optimal well it's optimal to get more solar power it will be able to produce a lot of power up there there's nothing to block it so that will be awesome and that will definitely help and power my house this little heat pump is not going to be able to power my entire house because uh, well my house is not power efficient enough to um, well six kilowatts of heat is not enough in in winter if it becomes really cold and if 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 there's a storm outside but it's enough to prolong the period of time where I don't need to worry about heating. I have a wood stove in the basement, I need to feed that. So uh, the longer that I don't need to feed the wood stove and can just run off solar powered energy in a heat pump, the better and the, the less I have to work. So this smaller heat pump is kind of a supplement for my power. I like to have multiple ways of powering the house. So right now I have the big heat pump, I have a wood stove in the basement, I have a wood stove in the living room, I actually also have a, a oil burner that can be mounted on the wood stove in the basement. I have used that twice. <laughs> and of course there is electric heating and I do also have a gas heater. Uh, gas stove so multiple ways so if the government changes their minds I can still pick the cheapest solution and a solar powered system on the roof that is not connected to anything it's really hard to put taxes on that marvelous big thank you to bargain hardware over at the UK uh, they do not sell heat pumps I'm in contact with them with the other stuff that I promote here on YouTube um, their server and storage desktop products that I uh, promote and I just politely asked if this would be possible because first I was trying to get a heat pump and they wouldn't ship it out of the UK so I thought well if they ship it to bargain hardware well then they can send it on to me and well it turned out this company which is not this cool energy uh, well they um, they were kind of dodgy and didn't reply to emails and yeah we dumped that idea but but at that point I already had bargain hardware helping me so I might as well get them to help me even more and I did get a better price on the heat pump and I did get a lot cheaper shipping just because they have a way better deal with the shipping companies that I would ever have so uh, thank you very much to bargain hardware if you should be in need of any hardware for your servers your desktops or maybe a new laptop well do visit bargain hardware at co.uk where you will get five percent off if you use the checkout code my playhouse small letters all the way and um, <laughs> and that will help to pay for all the fittings so thank you very much for watching my videos we might do another one when I'm ready for it I am the kind of person that has to um, have to think about this and have to go around and, and see oh I can put it over there and I and I kind of use a couple of days to get the idea into my head and the idea actually has to to grow in my head before I do anything so right now I'm just gonna be able to to move the, the stones over there a little bit and throw some of them out the trailer is over there and uh, yeah this is gonna be a process I am not sure that I'm gonna have this up and running this winter I'm probably not gonna be mounting the solar panels I haven't bought the solar panels yet so uh, yeah that's not gonna be working right now so it will be a longer project but thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.